So here we are guys, this is it. Tonight we finally all get to play Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. It's been a wild ride uh, getting to make these videos and talking to you guys about Smash this whole time. Super hyped, super excited that we finally get to play. Uh, before we get into anything here, I just wanna make an announcement. My Discord is actually going to be trying to run a online Super Smash Brothers Ultimate tournament in a couple weeks here. It's gonna be Saturday the 16th. It's gonna be at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, we're gonna do like standard tournament rules. Uh, we haven't picked the stages yet. Uh, we haven't picked like a prize yet either. So if you have any suggestions of what a good prize for attempting an online tournament would be, let me know in the comments. Um, but yeah, if you wanna check any of that out and get a better idea of the tournament rules and stuff, go check out my Discord. Uh, we're gonna be holding it there. I won't be playing or participating in the tournament, but I will do commentary on it the whole time, so maybe my brother will join me for that, but it's being run by X45X. He's been on the channel before. Uh, he has his own Twitch channel, X45X, so if you're interested in that, go check him out. He'll be the one running the tournament. Obviously, running an online tournament for a new game like this, uh, it's going to be new for everybody. So hopefully we don't run into too many problems, but we're excited to attempt to run that tournament. So if you're interested in that, uh, yeah, that's what we're doing. Check it out over on my Discord. So I am super hype right now. Um, the game comes out for me at midnight. I'm on Eastern Time. Uh, so I don't know when it comes out for you guys, but it's midnight for me. I can't wait to play it. I actually haven't played the game at all. I didn't play any demos or anything this time around. Um, for like Smash 4, I drove to like a Best Buy that had it as a demo and played it. But this time I have not touched Ultimate yet. So this will be my first time uh, getting my hands on it. I don't know what I'm going to do first. Um, I, I play Kirby, so I'm happy to do that. He's one of the characters I play. I'm, mostly I play Little Mac, but Kirby was the character. Character I played in 64, so I'm happy he's unlocked right from the get-go. Um, I'll probably save World of Light because I kind of want to record it and put it up on this channel. Uh, me and my brother will probably do a Papa Jean Bros playthrough of World of Light, so I'll probably save that, but I might do like classic mode. I might just go into some verse matches. I, I really don't know what I'm going to do first, uh, <laughs> so yeah, I'm just excited to get my hands on it. Speaking of Papa Jean Bros, uh, we were going to do some more stuff recently. We were going to do, like, Original Punch-Out. We were going to do Pokemon Let's Go. And then Nintendo changed their, like, partnership program. So we kind of held off on that. So if you're wondering why we haven't put up a Papa Jean Bros in a little while, it's because of that. So we'll probably start right away with World of Light and then go back and do, like, Punch-Out or Pokemon Let's Go um, in a couple weeks here or something. I'm actually really happy Nintendo changed its partnership program policies because it was honestly kind of annoying. Um, it seems much easier now. I just have to go through YouTube itself. It doesn't involve like a, a third thing to sign up for the partner program. Um, but I do have to look into that. So I will do that immediately and hopefully we'll get some World of Light playthrough stuff up here pretty quickly. And then, like I said, I'll go into some other games soon. So some people have asked me who am I going to main in this game. Um, probably Little Mac still. I'm a big Punch-Out fan. The three characters I always wanted for Brawl were Little Mac, Geno, and Banjo-Kazooie. So now that we don't have Geno or Banjo-Kazooie, at least in the base game for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, um, I'm going to continue to play Little Mac. And I'm really happy. It looks like he got buffed quite a bit. It looks like he can actually recover now. I heard his fall speed is really good and much better at getting back um, on the ground. So I'm excited to check him out. As far as other characters I play, I made this little chart here. Um, I'll leave a link in the description if you want to make your own because it's kind of cool. Uh, yeah, so I, I mostly play Little Mac, like I said, but I also really like uh, the Koopalings. My favorite one is Lemmy. I just thought their design was so cool. They weren't that great in Smash 4, so I'm hoping they get buffed a bit. I haven't really looked into that too much. I played Kirby since 64, so we got Kirby there. Um, yeah, he's always been one of my favorites, and he'll be the character that's unlocked right away, so I'll play him. Um, I played Toon Link for a while, but it was really more of a replacement for Young Link, and I've heard Young Link's amazing in this game, so happy about that. Definitely going to play Young Link. Uh, and then Ken and Simon are probably the two newcomer characters I'm personally most excited uh, to play and possibly main. So I don't know if all these characters are going to be my mains by the end of this, but uh, these are the ones I'm thinking about. So that's who I plan on playing. Um, to be honest, I'm not that great at Smash. It's been a long time since I played Smash 4, and I only was ever okay at it. Um, never really tournament level. I mean, I could like play in a tournament, maybe beat a person or two, but um, you know, I wasn't going to win or do that great place or anything. My brother's very good, though, at our locals, so hopefully uh, I'm going to have him try to get me good at this one. I feel like I'm going to put a lot of time into this game. Uh, I got my Switch set up already here. Um, it's got, like... The GameCube controller adapter I got kind of in between my desk there so I can plug in the GameCube controllers and I am just all excited and set up and ready to play. 
So I'm just getting the normal physical copy version of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. My brother got the uh, special Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Switch. He didn't have a Switch yet, so he got that. So he's the game um, downloaded onto that one, just waiting for it to get unlocked, basically. But I'm going to go out and get the physical copy tonight. Um, I got the Fighter Pass alongside with that, but nothing special. My version's just the normal version, um, not like the tin case or whatever comes with a special controller. I'm just going to play with GameCube controllers, I think. Um, I'm waiting for my Amiibos to come in the mail. I got all the Amiibos that I can get twice. I, I have a huge Amiibo collection. I need to make a video on this at some point, but I have all the Smash Amiibos twice in box, and I have one of all the other Amiibos. I go nuts for Amiibos. I'm, I'm one of those people. I, I get it. I mean, if you're telling me it's a waste of money, yeah, yeah, it is. I don't know. <laughs> but I love them. I love to collect them. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I have this huge collection. I'm waiting to get those. I saw the Ridley Amiibo early uh, out on the shelves at Walmart the other day. I went to purchase it, and they wouldn't sell it to me, so that was a bummer. I was hoping to get that one early and do, like, an unboxing video, like, two days ago, but it didn't work out. So, oh well on that. So before the game's out here, I do just want to say thank you to all you guys um, for supporting the channel, watching the videos, liking the videos, leaving comments. Um, it's been great getting to know some of you guys through the comments, getting to know some of you guys on Discord. It's been awesome just seeing the channel grow and uh, just you know know that <laughs> when I put the work in to make some video, that people really appreciate that and are watching that. It's amazing. It's an amazing feeling. It's been an amazing couple months. I never thought this channel would end up being what it is here. So yeah, it's just absolutely incredible and I thank you guys so much for all that. Um, going forward people are always asking me what are you going to do after Smash comes out? Um, I think you guys probably have a pretty good idea at this point. I mean after November 1st we kind of knew everything about the game especially after like the data mine we definitely knew everything about the game. Um, so yeah I mean, I'm going to continue to make DLC speculation videos on Smash. Um, like I said I'll do like a playthrough of World of Light probably some other um, you know, smash actual like gameplay footage videos. If uh, you know, I'm just practicing a character or something. Maybe we'll put some cool stuff up like that. As you know, the game's in its infancy here, so learning new tech and skill and stuff with a character. Uh, if that comes out, you know, I might show that. Like I said, my brother's pretty good at the game, so he'll be pretty good about stuff like that. Um, and I'm happy to do other games, uh, other Nintendo games to come out. Uh, like if there's the next Pokemon game that's coming out, I'm happy to do rumors and leaks and stuff on that. Or if there's like another Mario game, or when's the next Nintendo Direct, stuff like that. I'm happy to continue to cover rumors and leaks and stuff. Um, and also just do like game reviews. You know, if a game comes out, I'm happy to review it, play it, let you guys know my thoughts on it. Um, maybe some retrospective stuff. I did like, you know, why I want Gino, why I want Banjo-Kazooie. I can continue to do that for DLC characters or just maybe do a retrospective on like, this is why I love this game. This old game, I love it. I can go over it. I have a huge retro game collection. So, um, you know, continue to do Let's Plays and stuff for stuff like that on Papa Gene Bros. Um, I can do... You know, uh, streaming Nintendo Direct, streaming anything interesting like the Game Awards. I may stream that tonight. Um, and then, you know, I'm happy to do non-Nintendo stuff, too. If there's a big game that's coming out that I'm excited for, I might put some non-Nintendo stuff up on this channel. I'm always up to date on gaming stuff. So, yeah, I got a lot going forward for this channel. I hope you guys stick with it. So like I just said, and I said in my last video, um, the Game Awards are tonight, so I am going to watch them. I'll definitely film myself watching it. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to stream it. I need to find out exactly when um, the store that I pre-ordered Smash is doing the release. It's like a midnight release, but sometimes they do them at like 9 p.m., in which case I'll have to watch the Game Awards and then run right out and, and get it. Uh, so I have to find that out before I know for sure if I can stream it. If I can't stream it, though, like I said, I will film myself, so if somebody really crazy gets revealed you know it will be filmed um it's also possible we don't get anything smash and i'm totally fine with that if we get like metroid prime 4 shown or something from animal crossing or any game really i mean even non-nintendo stuff i'm usually excited for so um you know yeah I'm, I'm excited to watch it see if we get anything revealed uh specifically nintendo stuff would be awesome and very specifically anything smash would be amazing um if we got something like gino or banjo kazooie um or anybody else i, I will film myself so you know i will put that up if it doesn't uh get streamed <laughs> It will be filmed. You won't miss that reaction. Um, but hey, if we don't get anything, uh, if none of these rumors or you know characters that people are talking about as the DLC turn out to be true, that's okay too. You know, sometimes I think we've learned that you know throughout this whole Smash cycle, sometimes things just you know they're not real. Like, and you just have to accept that. So um, I think that's the lesson to learn here. But going forward, I am still excited to speculate over DLC and stuff. Um, and I hope you guys continue to watch with me. Okay, just for the record, because I know everybody's going to ask in the comments, my hair has been long the whole time. I, I bought a wig and cut my hair yesterday just to do this. So um, yeah, it, it was long the whole time. It was not fake. <laughs> so once again, 
Thank you guys for all the subscribes, all the likes, uh, really helps out the channel. So if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do so, or like the video, or leave a comment, whatever you want. Uh, until next time, have a good one.